in high school, one of the things that is constantly pushed to you is career choices and what you're going to do in the future. Because for whatever reason, guidance counselors and teachers seem to think that I know exactly what I want to do. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know what I want to do in life. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm a junior in high school and I have many, many years ahead of me. And just because I don't know what I want to do now shouldn't mean that it should be forced upon me to pick. And that's basically what happens. We will have to fill out these stupid quizzes similar to this constantly. Like, look at these questions that they'll ask us. Career quiz. I would rather be a wildlife expert. I would rather be a public relations professional. Like, how are these even related? What, what, would, what am I supposed to pick for this? I don't know. I don't like the thing is they don't have any like practical choices like construction worker, McDonald's employee. Look, it's like not everything that people want to do requires education. Look, there are plenty of industries out there that don't require education. That you can make a lot of money in, you know, I like YouTube. And then like there's these these other ones that are way more specific, like skills, logic, reasoning, problem solving. OK, let's just do high management planner. Hi, hi. I'm always high. So we finished our test here and let's see what it gives us. All right. We got floor sanders and finishers. Oh boy. Mine cutting and channeling machine operators. Oh, I thought it was going to be Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Professional a, crafter. A professional Minecrafter. Air you got a lot of mining jobs, roof bolters, mining. Dude, I'm I'm mine shuttle car operators. Dude, my years of playing Minecraft have really paid off. Look, so the point is, is, is that you don't need to know what you have to pick, but it's a good thing to try certain things. So what I think is a good idea is to try a multitude of careers and see which one works out. None of them. My name's Obstabone, I'm 16, and I sexually assaulted my brother as a stripper. Man, this plane ain't no joke, you don't wanna be here, man. Man, I've been here so many times, it's unbelievable, man. Man, my ass still looks like that Jif peanut butter after construction humper was done with me, man. Man, all I gotta tell you guys is that if you're gonna be here, you wanna be tough, you wanna be hard. You want anybody to stop you. The stuff they say about prison showers, man, it ain't no joke. Dang it, dude. Excuse me, sir, did you just loiter? Did you not see the no loitering sign? You're so stupid. Sir, did you not see the no loitering sign that was posted? That's loitering. Did you not see the sign, sir? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Did you see the sign? There's no sign. There's no sign? What is this? What is this then? What does this sign say, sir? I need to pull out of here. Sir, I have to ask for your driver's license and insurance at this time. Hey, are you reaching for my weapon? No! Sir! No. Get down! No. Get down! No. You are under arrest! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Ring! Put your hands behind your back! This is not a joke! This is Ray. not a drill! Ray. Sir, I need backup! Ray. We're gonna walk away now. 
You're coming with me, bud. You're gonna go to the slammer where we put punks like Stop you. Looking your you're way. punks like you. You're such a punks <laughs> like you. Go to the slammer. Punks like you. No! Get and welcome to Abstabon's cooking show. Today's menu we have the boiled Oreo with the goldfish garnish. This is authentic um, Antarctic cuisine. This is very special recipe only for special people like you. So the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe is Oreo, goldfish, pot, and boil. Those are the ingredients you're going to need. So you come over here to the water supply and you fill it up. Then what you do is you take it over to the burner over here. You make sure to crank this all the way up to the highest maximum setting for the maximum possibility. You then take your Oreo and the goldfish garnish. Now you want to make sure that you have everything that you need here. So you take a good look at it. Now what I like to do to my food so it tastes better is I like to kiss it. I like to give the food the love. Um, the love tastes better. Uh, more and when you do that, it makes the food better for the customer. And so, it gives it herpes. It makes the food better for the customer. Mwah. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to, one by one, take the goldfish and put it in the pot if you're a If you're not a you take the whole thing and dump it in. And if you miss a goldfish, you smash the damn goldfish. <laughs> okay. Then you drop one half here and one half here. Then you take the pot over here, you put it over, then you come over to your timer here, and you want to set it for about two minutes. Okay, so now the timer is finished, and now we get to eat our food. So the first thing you have to do, is you have to turn it off safety reasons, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the pot, take it off with the burner right here, you're going to make it right over here. That's perfect. You take the lid off, it's going to be a little bit hot, you're going to get a little bit of steam, but that's okay. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have made the most sophisticated dish in the world. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this, okay, and you're going to take the bowl, in case you don't bury yourself, and you're going to pour it inside of the bowl. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have made the Goldfish Oreo and it looks super good. Looks super good. Looks really really good. Um I'm gonna let you guys try it first because that enough um thank you so much for joining me for Amster Bones cooking show and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye! No, you have to eat it. I'm not eating you it. You have to eat it. Should I really like You have to? <laughs> it's the rule. Rule of what? <laughs> I'm gonna eat boiling goldfish and Oreos. <laughs> what the hell is this? You gotta eat. What is? <laughs> oh, dude. <gasps> You're not gonna eat the whole dish. I'm good. I'm. I'm really good. Really?